What is up Major Biggles and welcome to some Call of Duty Warzone. Today guys what I want to show you all is week 3 of the Warzone Intel. Now to find this for anyone who does not or has not done it so far. The challenges are just basic kind of Intel missions where you can get more background story and more of a story of Verdansk and Warzone itself. So if we actually make our way over two challenges there will be three sections or three tabs that we can click into. We actually want to click into the first one, which is missions. Once we are in missions, we should be on war zone. What we want to do then is whatever platform you are on, PC, PS4, or even Xbox, then all you have to do is move over to the right, and then you will see season four missions. Of course, we have done fractured. We have hunting the enemy, which I was able to do, however, I was not able to record it and edit it and everything in the first, in the second week due to having some technical difficulties and plus I was working so much time, I didn't actually have time to do it. So, this week we are doing hidden cargo and this is track down the missing shipment. Now, it is active as you can see on the screen. And the first objective out of six says, find the location in the message Ghost has sent you. Now if we think back to the last two that we have done, this has been in the first objective all the time. As you can see from the first one, find the location in the message Ghost sent you. Find the location in the message Ghost has sent you in that one as well. And then of course in this one, objectives one is find the location in the message ghost has sent you so whatever platform you are on if you press whatever it is to view the intel we can see that it is right here on the screen so we're actually going to make our way there now so what you want to do is you want to actually land on the highest point on train station that's where you're gonna have to go just to get this one and this is where it is I'll show you on the map as well it's literally just right here and as you can see there is another player going for it as well and okay I got it but he sadly did not so moving on to the second objective which says cargo may have arrived via ports of entry now if we view the intel it says 1930 derailed in Yorgistan cargo missing check ports of entry start at cranes now, this is where Cranes is. Once you land up in port, you actually want to land in the second one over here. Some people have gone over to these ones, but it's not these ones, and it's not these ones. It's actually the one by the red border where you are out of the zone, and you want to go right in here, and then boom, just collect the intel, and that's it for the second one. Objective 3 says someone was paid off to keep an area clear. So if we actually view the intel, it actually says NE Gar Dar Crate Storage 6 across slash 586 Deep Keep Clear. Now I can't zoom in fully on this image, but I hope to kind of be able to do it once I am editing. And it actually has the octopus and it looks like it says Imrid Zekev so hmm interesting so for this objective we actually want to go to port again and where we actually want to go is between these two uh, kind of cargo bays if you want to call them or containers there's a load of containers here as you can see there are quite a few people actually landing over here and it's right in here all we have to do is just make our way in here slow nice and slow and then boom jump down and we click the intel and that's this objective done the fourth piece of intel or objective says there was an inspection scheduled at the port now if you actually view the intel it says inspection 12 slash 18 slash 19 p900 that's all really we get but we are going to go to this location right now and it's right here as you can see just run through here just check if there's anyone around me and it's just literally just right here and you just collect the intel and then you have it 
So the fifth objective says the cargo was headed to a WHP site. So WHP actually stands for World Humanitarian Project Site. So if you actually view it, it just basically says the destination, the cargo, the shipment and everything like that, the date, the time. Basically just a whole cargo manifest. So this is the photo of it and it just basically is the description is for armistice transport only. So we are going to go there right now. So for the next objective you actually want to go about northwest ish from the TV station as you can see from this place. There tends to be a buy station here at times and you actually want to land on this house here. Of course as you can see I did not land on it but you don't, well, you don't actually have to land it. You just have to make it inside and then go over to here and click the intel. And boom, that's it. That's for this one. So for the end of this, that was the last few objectives that we actually had to do. And then it just has the objective six out of six and it says Mara gave a debrief after the port attack. Now if we view the intel, I will actually read it off for you now. After action report, 12th day 18, 2019, Office of Coalition Intelligence, report, arrived at pickup location for Chembio container, but it was long gone. Someone got it before we did. Soon after we arrived, Lieutenant Davison informed me that enemy signatures were near our position and then all hell broke loose. After multiple casualties from the initial attack, I ordered my team to break contact. We were pursued by the enemy who bore allegiance and coalition markings. Six of my team were KIA by the time it was over. The old wounds never healed, but these are fresh cuts. Coalition and allegiance fighting their own sides. How did it come to this? Question mark. The only loyalty is to the operator next to you, if there is one. Notes. Davison KIA was repairing the UAV we recover from the airport attack. We need someone to take over for him. So, this is the end of the video guys, I hope you did like it, if you did, please hit the like button, right beside the like button, should be the subscribe button, right beside it, should be the notification bell that you can hit to stay up to date whenever I go live on the channel, or whenever I upload. Speaking of live streams, I tend to live stream, and I'm going to be live streaming more Warzone and Minecraft on my Twitch channel, link down in the description below, you can hit the follow button and hit the notification bell there to stay up to date whenever I go live. I also have a Twitter account which I manually update whenever I upload a video to my YouTube channel or whenever I go live on my YouTube channel, like I said, is rare, or whenever I go live on my Twitch channel, link down in the description below to that and you can hit the follow button there. But yeah, that is it guys, hope you like, favorite, and subscribe and peace.